Uh, the main challenge that I see is that the enormous amount of data that is going to be generated, that is being generated and that will be generated. And I think that uh, the other problem that we have is in microbiomes is the uh, cultivation of uh, non-culturable strains because eventually we need to grow everything and to be able to um, develop methods that we're doing very well at, at growing uncultivated strains or non-culturable strains but there are going to be far too many and it's going to be very interesting to see how this works out. In 10 years um, I, still th I still think we'll be doing sequencing um, but I think it will be much faster. I think uh, bioinformatics will be continually improved and so within, at the moment it's, it's a problem for a lot of people but within 10 years time I think there's going to be no problem in bioinformatics. Uh, there will always be strains that will be difficult to cultivate mainly because um, of inter interdependence between bacteria. So one strain is dependent on another one, dependent on another one, things like this. So they're, they're not necessarily going to grow independently. Uh, and if they do grow independently, it may be under a very artificial set of conditions. And I, I think also um, one of the big problems for the future is going to be working out ways by which we can uh, unravel the way in which microbes are communicating with each other within microbiomes because uh, this is a very key part of a microbiome is how do the microbes, how do they interact, how do they communicate in ways, different ways and this is going to be, a, it's going to be a wonderful problem. It's going to give people a lot of interesting work and interesting surprises.